This is my Star Wars Day 2017 video for Bodhi. Bodhi, your mom tells us you're a Star Wars fan, so I'm going to shoot a video for you to show you what we've got in our collection. So when you come to visit, you'll know what you can play with. So you can come down and start playing. So I've got a lot of toys or set up on in displays. Here we go. I'll do other videos in more detail later. This is just a quick overview. Bespin. Down below is Naboo. And the Sith Training Academy. Dagobah. The Plains of Naboo. The Death Star 1 and 2 and Star Killer Base. So there's staging areas, of course, for all the troops. And the Death Star it needs a lot of troopers, so I'm not going to focus too long on the Death Star. So I'll make a dedicated video about that later. The Emperor's Throne Room. And Death Star Fire Control. The outside of the Death Star. Above the Death Star. The Death Star. X Wings and U Wings flying from a planet. I think attacking the Death Star. And the Death Star is poised above Endor. These are the Imperials over Endor. This is the Imperial Bunker. Lots of Imperials on Endor. And on my version of Endor we've got Wookiees. I call this Revenge of the Wookiees. The Wookiees aren't very happy with the Imperials, so they helped out on the other side of Endor that they didn't show in the movie. Some Ewoks catching some rides. Ewok gliders. Some Wookiee flyers. The uh, Rebel troops are reinforced with some G.I. Joes. G.I. Joes is going to save the day, always. And above the Ewok village is the Rebel Squadron, the Millennium Falcon, X Wings, Y Wings, B Wings, A Wings, all right moving on around the corner. The back side of Endor, the Imperial Bunker. Luke turning himself over to Darth Vader inside the Imperial Bunker. And lots of firepower for the Imperials over Endor. And on this side is a Clone Wars battle scene with the uh, Separatist droid army. And they've got quite the army, which is why the Republic needs a huge clone force. Because the droid army is very impressive. Led by Count Dooku and General Grievous.
I like this display. I love all the artillery, the heavy armor. There's a lot going on here with the gunships and the Jedi starfighters, the attack shuttles. In the back are some G.I. Joe toys that were modified so that they hold the Star Wars figures now. They have uh, mechs attached for some ground attack. This is Hoth, and I have turbo tanks on Hoth, and above the Imperial ground forces are the Air Forces, TIE Fighters, Darth Vader's TIE Advance, TIE Bombers, TIE Interceptors, and there's different versions of the TIE Fighters, and they're above the Imperial Assault Forces on Endor. ATSTs. Lots of ground troops. There's uh, concept troopers you might uh, not be familiar with. There's lots of Star Wars figures, so I just use them all. And they're going against the rebel forces on Hoth. These are the Echo Base trenches. Supplemented by some G.I. Joe tanks. Snow speeders. Republic transports evacuating. That's what these guys are doing. They're just trying to slow down the Imperial forces so they can evacuate the transport so they can move on to the next base and carry on the rebellion. This is the inside of Echo Base. The back to tanks. All the ships are getting worked on with the ground crews. Han and Chewie are Talking about taking off, getting ready. Some U-wings on Echo Base. And above Echo Base is the Republic, uh, uh, the Rebellion Squadron, A-wings. Got red ones, green ones, B-wings, X-wings. More B-Wings, and a bunch of Y-Wings. Let's see B-Wings in the background. Bringing up the rear. Next door to Hoth is Genosis. These are the Republic forces. This is the initial attack and the second attack from the Clone War, so I just put everything together. So this is the back side, looking forward, some ATTEs, so those are ATAPs, the three-legged walkers, I could be wrong, little gunships, clone troopers deploying because they're flying against the Genosians, they've got wings, so the clone troopers have their turbo, their uh, backpacks on, the flight packs, and the ATTEs are fully loaded with the crews. You need a full crew for these vehicles on the ground. Tons of clone troopers. And above the clone troopers are the air forces with gunships, Jedi starfighters. Even Yoda's a little starfighter. They're piloted by the clone troopers because the uh, Jedi's themselves, the Jedi generals, are busy on the ground on the front lines. Down below, and about the Jedi front lines with their various clone troopers. The uh, clone troopers on their speeder bikes. And the Jedis are using their force powers on the droids. I'll spend more time on other videos getting closer. Yeah. 
This is the droid army. In the Genosis uh, battle arena back there. That's where uh, Anakin and Obi-Wan and Padme are being held. These are the Trade Federation tanks. Some mini fighters that deploy from the multi troop transports. Some Sith infiltrators, I figured why not. And various versions of the droid fighters. Again, lots of droid fighters to justify lots of clone troopers. These are the winged Genosians, or bug like creatures. Beans, I should say. Because the more than creatures, they have this advanced civilization that that's almost taken out the, uh, that's helped to take out the Jedi. And above the Separatist forces in the back, we've got a Jango Fett. I figure, why not? In the back side of the battle arena, there's a different version of Jango Fett Slave 1. And there's the Separatist Council holding a meeting. And there's different versions of the uh, arena rescue sequence with Anakin and Obi-Wan and Padme being chained up. And here comes Yoda and the other Jedi to rescue them. There's Dooku and facing Obi-Wan and Anakin. I just have them doing it at the battle arena. And different in different spots, you have different scenes with uh, Django. There's Django about to lose his head, and yet there's Django checking out his slave one, making sure it's ready to take off if things go wrong. On the back side is the hangar with the different vehicles. There's General Grievous's wheel bike and the droid factory. And while I'm here, this is Mustafar. Where Anakin and Obi-Wan fought their battle, where Anakin lost and was burned and rescued by the Emperor and became Darth Vader. So there's the operation scene. There's Darth Vader yelling, No! <laughs> and there's lava. And the Mustafar, the miners, and the Emperor and his various troops, because he definitely wants to go there with backup, just in case things go wrong. So above the brown troops are more Imperial forces. Got the black version of the Jedi Starfighter, like the stealth version, and the Arc 170, and then the Republic version. Over here is Tatooine. This is the Tatooine parking garage. This is where people would come and park before they go party at the cantina. And those are the vehicles from Star Tours. There's some stuff going down on here where job is involved, so you know it's not good. There's some treasure chests. Above is the 